Hello people, what's up? Welcome to the video. In this video, we have to know about the seasonal tokens. So, let's get started the video. There are four types of tokens that is spring, summer, autumn and winter. A good investment will rise in value after you buy it and before you sell it. Providing liquidity consists of providing ETH and tokens to Uniswap and allowing traders to use those tokens and ETH for trading. Every 9 months, the rate of production of one of the tokens gets cut in half. This causes a scarcity of the token to accumulate over time that will eventually disrupt the previous equilibrium between supply and demand. Season by season, the apparent abundance of the tokens will give way to the reality that the tokens are limited in supply and running out. One token out of the four will always be produced at the fastest rate and the least available for farming and will appear to be abundant but this is an illusion that will disappear after a number of months when that token becomes the hardest to produce and the most valuable for farming. When tokens are donated to the farm on a regular basis, it makes the tokens more valuable because tokens used for farming produce higher yields. The farm also contributes to the rotating demand for the tokens that makes it profitable to trade them in a cycle. So the tokens can be expanded to support their price and drive to rotating demand. Miners have financial incentive to increase the value of the tokens they mine and they can do this by donating a fraction of their incoming tokens to the farm. Even though the tokens become harder to obtain over time, holders of the tokens can use them to acquire more by farming and cyclical trading. As the tokens become more expensive to mine and buy, the ability to get more tokens over time without buying or mining them becomes more and more useful. At a time when everybody knows that spring tokens should be traded for summer tokens, traders need to be able to sell spring tokens to someone and buy summer tokens from someone. Investors start off with ETH but no seasonal tokens. To start farming, an investor trades about half of the ETH allocated for farming to get seasonal tokens. Miners initially have tokens but no ETH. A miner provides liquidity by selling about half of the tokens allocated for farming in exchange for ETAs. Mining started on the 5th of September 2021. Spring tokens are in season. Nine months later, the size of the spring token reward drops to 84 tokens. Spring tokens will go out of season and become harder to acquire over time. That's all about today's topic. Thanks for watching this video.